hey guys, this video is um, a little bit out of sync. Um, right now I'm in my hostel in Krakow. This is fake by the way, it's a fake uh, background. But um, today I came back from Auschwitz. I had a little excursion there and uh, what I saw there kind of shocked me. Of course the place itself, huge atrocities happened there. It's like one of the like biggest crimes ever done to humanity. Like I think the numbers were like 1.5 million people um, were killed at that place and uh, that was very impactful to uh, to witness and uh, see how that all worked but there was another thing that really shocked me and that was the way um, people kind of like um, visitors were acting over there now in the beginning uh, I was making some pictures I'm not going to show you my pictures actually I'm going to show you some stock images right now of that place and the reason why I don't want to share my pictures I'll tell you right now um, because I saw people there like there was there was one American guy and he was making pictures of everything like it, it was allowed to take pictures not allowed to uh, film anything out of respect but you were allowed to take pictures and yeah some people uh, they, uh, they took a lot of pictures they uh, really wanted to take pictures of everything all the rooms that we went through, all the places we saw, um, we actually went to two camps. I mean, in the beginning I was also taking pictures, you know, taking pictures of different things and uh, and that sort of stuff. But after, I think halfway through the tour, I kind of felt uncomfortable doing that. Because there were people there that were taking selfies and, you know, doing that sort of stuff in front of like the um, main gate. And they were standing on the railway tracks where I would say about yeah about 1.5 million people sold their families for the last time before I, they were sent or to the labor camp or to the gas chambers so in my opinion that's it's a total lack of respect um, to do that I mean a lot of people I think they didn't fully realize what happened over there and I understand that you want to take pictures because you know it's one of those places that uh, is very iconic but what happened there I think is not really to take selfies at and uh, that sort of stuff so um, I don't know I felt very very uncomfortable there uh, taking pictures or, or filming which I didn't do so um, it, it was a bit shocking to see that a lot of people they only paid attention to the photos they were taking and not to the actual like place they were at you know and what happened over there and I think that really takes away of the experience because I think you're there for the reason to realize what happened there and and you know that's that's the way we learn and grow and I think this this place should cherish that message of you know that this should never happen again right but yeah I mean the worst thing is that people that are there um, taking those pictures, you know, other people see that, they think it's normal to do that, and they do it too, you know? So, in my opinion, taking pictures should be, should be prohibited at, the, at this spot, like, it's just, the whole atmosphere is, is very, very uncomfortable when you do that, and I really think you, um, you shouldn't do that, really. It just blocks the original message and the original like goal of going to these places is to to realize what happened there. And um, yeah, it's just it, it was it was interesting, but uh, I was a bit shocked to, to see that. But for us, you should totally go uh, if you know how to show respect to the uh, people that died there. Then please go because you really re really need to see that. But. It was a big distraction to see all these people that went there and only thought about sharing it. Of course I understand that you want to share it, but there is this line, there is this border that I think a lot of people went went past. So yeah, what I learned from this experience, um, what happened there was awful. The whole like war crimes that happened like just beyond understanding like how and how that happened but yeah I really also like for me is because I also have that problem with the camera being there and taking away the moment and especially in these type of places it can really take a, take you away from the moments you know from what happened there so that's why I decided not to share any of my pictures with you guys but yeah I hope my message uh, comes across uh, clearly here because yeah I, I think that this place really becomes like a like a tourist attraction like no other while 
this is really a place that uh, is different from other places. So anyway, that was, that was my little uh, explanation of uh, Auschwitz um, destruction camp, um, death camp and labor camp. We went to two different camps actually. Um, the first one had all the like leftover shoes that were like huge pile. There was like human hair there. It was just awful to to see. Um, there are there were a few places where you really couldn't take any pictures. Just out of respect, like for example, the hair, you could not take a picture of that, but I think you should not take a picture of anything right there and just show your respect, guys. Show your respect to these people. Anyways, sorry for this little rant. Um, I know this is a bit of a negative video. Yeah, I just want to give you guys a little heads up and uh, this is just my opinion, you know, it's just what I think. And uh, I hope that message came across well. If you have any questions or comments, then just leave them in the description here. And um, yeah, tomorrow is back to the uh, normal series. This is actually not a vlog, it's just uh, gonna be an extra video. Uh, tomorrow will be another normal vlog. So, uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, see you later, bye.